Hi, I'm Matt with the trailer and today we're going to be talking about the Kurt roof mounted cargo basket on the 2023 Toyota Highlander. This is going to be a great roof basket to get if you're just kind of looking to free up some extra space, maybe the back of your vehicle is pretty full, or you want to go on a camping trip you need to store your additional gear up top, maybe because you don't want any dirt getting in the inside of your vehicle, or you just need to free up that extra space. This is going to be a great way to get your gear to the spot. Our basket is going to be able to hold up to 150 pounds. Now always keep in mind, if you have any additional gear in that, plus the weight of your basket and your roof rack, that's going to add additional weight to your roof. So always make sure to make sure what your roof can handle. Um, it's also going to be constructed from steel with a black powder coat finish. That just means it's going to be very durable and that black powder coat finish is going to help it be more corrosion resistant. Another benefit of it being made of steel though is it's going to be very durable for any uh, hey, uh, tie down points. So not only these thicker points here, but also these thinner rungs here are still going to make great tie down points. Now if you don't want to use any straps that tie down to these locations, we also have uh, bags and cargo nets that help secure your gear down. Now anytime you have anything on top of your roof, and you're driving, it's going to probably generate some wind noise. So that's why we have this fairing on the front here. It's just going to allow that wind to kind of glide right over the top and help reduce that wind noise. As for the inside of our carrier, we have these clamps. I have a few gripes about them. They're just kind of a little bit hard to maneuver around. Just get this top part over your rungs and this bottom part to clamp in. It'd be kind of a little bit hard. And you have to thread these uh, knobs a lot, which can be a little bit tedious when you're using any thinner um, crossbars. And then to add on to that, when you thread them so much, you're going to have a lot of this overhang from the bolt showing through. So if you have any like bags sticking in here, then they'll be more prone to catching on these bolts and ripping open. And because this is a fixed roof rack, um, it's going to be a little bit harder, harder to stick our carrier on top of it. As it sits now, it's a little bit off right over there, but it does fit very securely. The clamps are going to mount onto two rungs at any point. So yes, it is adjustable, which is nice, but if you have a fixed roof rack system, it can still be a little bit difficult to place it on. But even with the fixed roof rack system, it's still going to fit very nicely on top of our vehicle. We're still going to be able to have that hatch access, plenty of space there too, and it's not going to obstruct our uh, sunroof at all. Now, we do have an extension piece to this that adds about 21 inches to it, and that's going to be added to the center, so it's going to add about 10 and a half inches to either side. So if I measure here, we're going to have much more than 10 and a half inches over here of space so you still will be able to accommodate that roof uh, basket up here. As for the height, it's going to add to your system. Uh, from your roof rack to the top of your carrier, it's going to add about 7 inches. So that's something to keep in mind. Uh, just kind of making sure that you can go through any low clearance areas, especially when you factor in the gear inside of here. If it sticks past here, just make sure you measure up the total height of the whole system. Um, as for where we have it placed on our vehicle, it's going to be centered and it takes up about pretty much all of our cross 50 inch crossbar spread. Um, you could probably like scoot it over some and you might be able to fit something really small on here. But if you're going to load this up anyways completely, then you're probably going to max out the total weight for your roof. Overall, I think this is going to be a solid choice for the Highlander just to get really utilize all that extra space up top your roof. Um, I really like how durable it is. That steel really makes a difference, especially on our uh, metal fairing up front. I've seen a lot of other carriers with plastic fairings that are just a lot more susceptible to breaking. Really my uh, major complaint about this one is just the uh, bolts that kind of pop through the clamps that could damage any bags you have up, up there. Uh, another similar carrier is uh, the Flint Hill Goods. And it actually does come with some little caps that go on top of the bolt so you don't have any damage from occurring. Um, but overall, I, I really like how sturdy this carrier is. 
Um, but if you've liked everything you've seen today, this is a look at the Kurt cargo carrier on top of the 2023 Toyota Highlander.